Hello, my name is Navigator. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the WWE Superstars Walmart exclusive Tatanka action figure. This is the second WWE Superstars figure that I have in my collection. The first, of course, being the Big Boss Man, and I do have a review of that already on the channel. This is just another one from the collection that I've always wanted. Tatanka is one of my favorite wrestlers from the uh, kind of the golden era, I guess you could say, or like the 80s. Um, I'm a big indigenous peoples fan, love Native Americans. It was one of my real big interest in college and it still is and I just love him I cannot wait for them to make an updated elite of him but in the meantime let's take a look at this superstars figure on the back some of the other figures in the wave along with the uh the little box right here and you can see end of the trail Native American warrior loved his whole gimmick let's take this out of the box there we go Rip off the back and then fairly gently you can unbox this and get him out of here. So there we go. We'll get the figure out. I'm loving the suede poncho that he's got going on. Looks really nice. We'll pull his arms out of the plastic along with the legs if we can. And there we go. And then he does have some accessories as well. Let's pull those out if we can. Beautiful. Take the tape off of there so it doesn't stick to the felt. Hope you don't mind. There we are. And yeah. There. Oop. Oh. And I guess everything is already sticking to the felt. Got to keep this set together, Nav. What are we doing here? But there we have it, the Tatanka figure. So let's lay him down and take a look at these accessories first. I actually don't know what is in here. I'm curious to find out. So let's see. There's a ton of tape on here. Why? So much tape. All right. Ooh, it's blue. Everything in here is blue. Let's see, though. Rip that off and dump everything in here out. Oh, hands, of course. That does make sense. What else is in here, though? Interesting. Oh, okay. So he's got a bunch bunch of extra hands, but he does come with this really cool tomahawk. It's kind of got this blue and silver scheme going on. I don't know why it's not focusing. A little bit of a bummer there. Why is it not focusing? There we are for a second. What the heck? Come on. All right, well, you guys get the picture. There you go. It's a pickaxe. Next up here, we do have some jewelry if you want to take the poncho off. It's pretty much just these uh, blue beads and then like a white... Uh, cow skull in the middle. There you go. Now it's focusing. And then he also comes with extra hands. The ones that he has equipped are going to be the, the, the grappling hands, Lego man hands, as I like to call them as I bounce the camera. But he also has some fisted hands as well. So we have those. And then a pair of open hands as well for whatever. God knows what. So there we go. We do have those. But finally here, the figure itself. Starting at the bottom, he's got, for the most part, a uh, white gear, white boots, white knee pads. He's got different designs, and I'm sure these are all significant or have meaning, but I just don't know. But I'll just let you guys take a look at there at all those uh, designs on the side. On this side as well, those look really cool. It's kind of got some painted on tassels there, and there's even some inscriptions on the inside of his boots. Moving up here, though, he's kind of got a white, or excuse me, red stripe going around his uh, groin area. And then moving up here, pretty normal chest, nothing much going on. More Native American uh, signs here on each of his wrists, which look cool. He's got that wrist wrap and then the uh, rope around his biceps. And like I said, he's got this really cool poncho, which I love. And I'm curious, uh, not the easiest to take off, but I don't think I really need to show you guys what that looks like. It's not integral. Oh, you can actually just put it on like this. Wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can just have it like that. That works. You can just have it right over. There's no clip on it. It just breaks in the back. So beautiful. That poncho is just so cool. It's suede. Got that nice little decoration on the front. And then finally his face here. He's, it looks like he almost has like, what is that? The Polish flag on the front? Something like that. But that face paint, the war paint maybe. And then that mullet with the, uh, the red tomahawk on the top. So that is really cool. A really, really nice figure. And I'm really hoping they make an upgraded version of his Elite very soon. So I'll leave it at that, folks. Get a little impatient here. I don't know why. So I'm going to end the video. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. As always, folks, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.